So today I have a super special treat for you, a 30 AI limiter a minute build. This build utilizes both manifold and some forgivable clipping techniques to accomplish its task. If you're okay with this stuff, then don't forget to smash that like button so we can get this into the eyes of as many people in the community as possible. And don't forget, I stream live over at Twitch Tuesday through Friday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. MST. I'll see you over there. This build is located on a part of the map where there's a copper and Caterium node right next to each other at the bottom of a cliff. This is a beautiful location that offers a variety of views placed right in the middle between two biomes. You'll need two miners, one on the copper extracting 300 copper a minute and one on the Caterium extracting 360 Caterium a minute. You can reach these numbers by various means. For the buildings, you'll need 18 smelters, 25 constructors, six assemblers, an industrial storage container, and plenty of mock Four, Mach 2 and Mach 1 belt. You'll also need a lot of splitters and mergers. This build is intended for mid to late game, right around when you unlock Mach 4 belt, so feel free to double the copper and caterium to 600 and 720 respectively and double the number of buildings. It will of course be a little tricky with the quickwire though, as you'll need to run two lines of Mach 5 because you'll need 1200 quickwire. You will be seeing me using smart mod and flying for demonstration purposes of the video, but this can certainly be done without them. If you love these mods and you like the way I'm building, click down below in the description and you'll find a link to those mods. Now let's kill these baddies and get to building. To begin, drop foundation onto the nodes and make sure to angle the foundations facing north, south, east, and west. This will be super helpful when you're listening to the video today. Place foundation above the nodes. You wanna make sure all the foundation is based off your starting one, so use ramps to get up to the Caterium. Put miners down onto the nodes and set the copper to 300 and the Caterium to 360. Adjacent to the miner, place a 10 wall high tower with a single wall holes on both sides of the wall facing the miners. At the top, you'll want a two conveyor wall facing the grass the open area. Run belts as you see fit into the holes of the tower. Raise the belts to the top and connect the belts into the two conveyor wall. Now place three temporary foundation away from the conveyor wall holes. After placing those three foundation, place a 1 by 14 4 meter foundation floor. Remove the three temporary foundations and place regular walls on both sides all the way across as well as a two conveyor wall hole opposite to the tower one. Above these walls, place two by 14 1 meter foundations. Now place regular walls all around this platform that you've created. Glass above that and metal above that. Now place your 18 smelters in a line, placing the input eastwards. Now place a 4x14 platform using 4 meter foundation next to the west metal walls. Place a 7x4 platform on the left and a 7x5 foundation to the right, making sure to use 4 meter foundation for this as well. This is what the build should look like so far. Now let's place some splitters below the smelters. The first eight smelters will be caterium ingot and the remaining 10 will be copper ingot. Place splitters aligned with the conveyor belt hole and against the wall for the first eight smelters. Then place the remaining splitters, making sure to turn the first one. Now run some Mach 4 belt. Run some Mach 1 conveyor lifts on the outside here, connecting to the splitters. Then connect the lift to the smelters. This is where it will be doing some forgivable clipping. Set the first eight smelters to caterium and the remaining to copper. Now place mergers in front of the caterium all heading for the south wall and mergers for the copper going to the north wall. Connect smelters to mergers. Above south wall merger, place a single conveyor wall. Above the north wall merger, place a double conveyor wall. Connect the mergers with appropriate belts. Place conveyor lift from wall hole down to mergers. You'll have to place a temporary belt to make sure the lift is going to be in the right direction when you connect it to the merger. There's some slight forgivable clipping here as well. Delete the temporary belts. This is what it should look like so far. Now let's place our walls on this platform. Make two layers of regular walls all around the platforms. Glass above that, metal above that. Now let's take care of the ingot. On the Caterium side, place 10 constructors side by side, perpendicular to the conveyor lift. Place splitters in front of the constructors and connect the belts. You only need Mach 1 going into the constructors here. Set these machines to quick wire. Now place mergers on the outputs of the constructors, making sure to turn the very last of the row. You'll have two rows of quick wire here, so place a second merger on the sixth merger and 
the final one in the row. Connect the belts. Use Mach 1 for the output and Mach 4 for the merging. Now let's take care of the copper. Place 10 constructors side by side perpendicular to the conveyor lift. Then place 5 more opposite to the final 5 in this row. Place splitters in front of each constructor input. Place mergers in front of each output. Make sure to turn the final merger. Now belt. Mach 1 for input output and Mach 4 for the manifold. Set the machines to copper sheet. Now before we go to the assembler phase of this project, make sure you've got everything in order. Now let's place our assemblers. One tick away from the edge of this tile, place six assemblers side by side. Place quick wire splitters on the floor of the first input of each assembler. On the third assembler, place a splitter on top of the floor one. This will take care of the second line of quick wire. For the second input, the copper sheets, place splitters three high running right to left. Run belts. Mach four for the manifold, Mach two for the quick wire input, and Mach one for the copper sheet input. Place mergers on the outputs and connect with Mach 1 belt. Run the belt to an open area on the quick wire side. Set the machines to AI limiters. Place an industrial container in this space, a gate wall in front of that, and wall off the small area using the same pattern as before. Now let's add a roof. Place a one meter foundation on the outer corners. Drop eight x four up corner on top of those. Use the eight x four ramp on the outer edges. For the inside corners, use eight x four down corners. Place glass in between. Make sure to turn the glass the way that you like it. Let's also finish the smelter side roof. Add another layer of regular walls and glass on top of that. Now let's add power. Drag a line from the machine to the wall perpendicular to its nearby wall. Optionally, you can hide the wire in the foundation below the machines like in past videos. Watch those up here. You can really do this part however you want. The power really is up to you. Also, don't forget about the minor power. You can run power through the tower or simply have them on their own line. Let's make some final touches. Add frame foundation along the outside edges. Run frame foundation vertically on the corners as you see fit. Add an awning with one meter ramps around. You can add some walkways here to allow you to get up to your factory, but I'm sure you'll be belting these AI limiters to another location. Alternatively, you could do something like this too. Alrighty, I think it's time to start this thing up. Now remember, this is a manifold system, which means it will take a while before it gets 100% running. So go grab a drink and give it some time. Thank you everyone so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what you thought. And I'll see you next time right here in the Longhouse.